A group captain of the Indian Air Force has said that the Tejas aircraft flew around 1,400 kilometers in a single hop to reach Dubai Air Show 2023, which showcases its long range capabilities. Flight services at Mfal International Airport were affected yesterday over sighting of an unidentified flying object. The Indian Air Force activated its air defense response mechanism based on visual inputs from the airport, but the small object was not seen thereafter. After asking India to remove Indian troops from Maldives, the new Maldivian president has started reviewing more than 100 agreements that were signed with India by previous government. The Indian Army will start trials of the DRDO light tank from March 2024. Two warships of the Russian Pacific Fleet have arrived at the Indian port of Visakhapatnam, as part of a remote naval mission in the Asia-Pacific region. India and Australia will hold the second India-Australia 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue in New Delhi today, to drive forward the Australia-India defence relationship. Pakistan has started formal negotiations to acquire a light attack aircraft version of the Chinese L-15 trainer, that features nine hardpoints that can carry three tons of weaponry, multi-mode targeting pods and electronic jammers. The United States has offered its expertise in manpower to support the AMCA program. While specific details of the cooperation remain undisclosed, but chances are that the US offer of manpower expertise might be linked to India's MRFA tender, so that the AMCA can be produced at the Indian facility after manufacturing 114 F-15EX or F-16. Similar collaboration was witnessed in the South Korean KF-21 program, where Lockheed Martin deployed its engineers to assist in the development of South Korean fifth-generation fighter. The role of external consultants will be limited to provide assistance, rather than participating in the core technology development of the aircraft, while India will retain control over the indigenous development of critical technologies for the AMCA. The DRDO has successfully developed a radar-absorbing paint for fighter jets, that will enhance stealth capabilities by reducing the radar signature of aircraft. The development team has successfully applied the radar-absorbing paint on various Indian Air Force platforms, including the MiG-29 UPG fighter jets, and the results have been described as very encouraging, showcasing the efficacy of this innovative technology in real-world applications. While the 500 km range Prale missile has taken the lead as the first tactical missile to be inducted into the Indian rocket force, the DRDO is actively engaged in the development of a new non-nuclear advanced tactical missile with a range of 1,500 km, that will be designed to avoid interceptor missiles effectively, as it will have the ability to change its trajectory mid-air, after covering a specified range, and will be capable of targeting deep military infrastructure, like the challenging terrain of the Tibetan plateaus. It can be transported in strategic airlifters such as the IL-76 and C-17, that will allow swift deployment to the front line. The gas turbine research establishment is looking for two Indian industry partners, that will manufacture and supply three manic engines each over an 18-month period, and this process will help to select industry partners for the extended production phase of 300 engines over a span of five years. The Manic engine will play a crucial role in various defense applications, as it powers the nearby subsonic cruise missile, and will power two variants of submarine-launched cruise missile, and the upcoming long-range land attack cruise missile. Today's Top 3 Comments Thank you.